Okay, welcome back to another episode of Vintage Fly Time. Today we're going to do a muskrat nymph. This nymph in the vise is one that my father tied 50 years ago. Recipe card says head black, tail is guinea hackle, the ribbing, no ribbing, the body is dubbed muskrat fur with guard hairs removed. It looks like he did a pretty good job at that. There's uh, guard hairs, could be a pain in the butt. The uh, hackle is guinea hackle, three on each side for legs. It looks like he might have four on this side, but that's maybe two got stuck together there. You got three on that side. There was a couple in a box, but this is probably the best survivor of the bunch of 50 year old flies and it says wing no no wing so pretty easy to tie difficult to get pretty for the camera this muskrat gets pretty shaggy all right let's get to tying this fly the hook we're using is a old mustad viking hook a size 16 it is a wet fly hook he has written on the back here so it's just a standard length hook all right let's go ahead and place this in the in the vise you don't want to apply too much vice pressure pressure on uh, on your hook here just it's good to have a good vise that's going to hold it you crank it down you're gonna put uh, undue pressure on your hook and it's gonna break on you I've uh, learned through trial and error on that thread I'm using is a uh, 136 denier unit thread let's go ahead and start it back cut off your tag end Go right to the top of the hook or the bend of the hook. Now you're going to take some guinea hackle. I noticed on the one I just showed you, he only has two of the uh, barber rules from the guinea hackle, but most of them he has about four. So I'm going to take a strand of maybe four of them. It's not unlikely that uh, maybe a couple would come off of that one there, but. We're going to put four on this. So just go ahead and you're on about the length of the shank of the hook, or maybe just a little longer. I noticed his were a little longer. So let's go maybe a shank and a half. Set it right on top. And go ahead and wrap it in. Wrap it backwards. To the top of the bend of the hook. And then when you get there, take your thread, go up underneath of the tail, pull it up, that splays it out a little bit, like that. Go ahead and wrap it back forward here. And you get up here, you can cut away your excess, everything's secured. See how it's all on your side there, it looks pretty good. Good, cut it away. And we're going to bring the thread back. Get it back in focus here for you here. Bring your thread back to almost the point where it's touching the tail. And you're going to stop it there. Take a little of this uh, premium wax. It's dubbing wax. Put it on your thread. You don't need a lot of dubbing on this. It's a pretty small fly, so you don't need to get too crazy. The more you put on, the more you got to take off in the end there. And what I have already made up from the uh, muskrat pelt that I have is I 
trim some off. And with my best effort, I took all the guard hairs out, but there's still some in there, so we'll have to deal with those. Take your finger and dip it in a little water. I got a little Dixie cup here. And take your dubbing and just lay it straight onto the thread a little bit of a ton. The less you put on, the easier it is to work with. You put a big glob on there, you're going to have issues. Now you've still got your fingers just a little bit damp, and now you can go ahead and spin your dubbing on. Make a nice tight noodle. A lot of guys lick their fingers. I'm trying not to lick my fingers. It's a bad habit that I got into, everybody gets into. But these Dixie cups work pretty well. I gotta just add a dab of water into it every couple days. Alright, now that I have a nice tight dubbing loop, I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple wraps backwards to where I want to start it. One more. And now we're going to go forward. And you want this to be a little bit tapered toward the uh, front, so wrap a few up. Wrap back over it a couple times. I'm going to add just a little bit more to it now. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of dubbing wax to it. I want this to be just a little bit fatter up front here than it is. Get some of these guard hairs out of it. Again, I dip my fingers in there. Wait them on my pants just a little bit to get uh, all the excess moisture off. You don't want what fingers just damp. And Spin that on there. Go just a little bit more. And that should be plenty enough right there. Alright. Drop this other excess down here. Okay, now we're going to do a couple more spins here. Of the dubbing. Just to fatten it up in the front here. And we get here. Let's go ahead and put a couple wraps in. Yeah, that looks good. Any yard hair sticking out everywhere? Yeah, right there on the bottom just a little bit. Take care of those now when I can. I uh, will add the legs on, then I'll be hidden. I won't have access to them, so let's take care of them now. Like I said, this is a hard fly to make a pretty picture on macro photography. Oh, right on top. See, I can't even see it with my naked eyes. But I look at the camera and I see it somewhere right here. I get it? Nope. Nope. Yep. Alright. Alright. So now I've got a guinea hackle here. That what I did, I cut out the center of it. Like I've shown you on other videos. And I'm going to use these for the legs. Looks like I got three on each side. Maybe I have four on the one side here. Let's uh I do have four on the one side. Alright now I got three on each side. Take your guinea hackle, place it right over top. Now you have a V in it because you cut the center out. Set it right on top, right on the other side. Try to get my fingers out of the way here. Maybe I could turn the camera a little bit here. Pull back just a little bit. And so go ahead. A couple loose wraps, and you'll check. Check your work here. Alright, a couple loose wraps, check on my work. Let's pull them down to length here. Looks pretty good. 
Go ahead and wrap it in. Cut away the excess. Alright, how's that look on your side? Looks pretty good. Get your whip finish tool. Add a whip to it. Cut it away. See how it come out here. Alright, looks pretty good. Legs are a little thinner than what he did. I used uh, this guinea that's a little smaller, it looks like. Looks like he actually trimmed, put fatter guinea in there and trimmed them. I actually have a little... Uh, little thinner there, but looks pretty good, huh? Alright. Got a little uh, UV finish to it, which I did not bring out. I thought I did. Huh. Alright. Well, you can do that later. Add a little dab of uh, glue to the head there. little UV finish. A little uh, Sally Hansen's. That's all you need to do. And you're ready to fish it. So there you go. You got a muskrat nip. Guinea hackle for the tail, guinea hackle for the legs, black head, muskrat body, guard hairs removed. On a size 16 nymph hook, that is probably a 50 year old hook. Alright, if you like these videos, please click subscribe and give me a uh, like. Tell me what you like about it. If you notice, there's not anyone else I see on YouTube or anywhere, any book that shows a muskrat nymph design like this. It's a pretty simple tie, pretty effective fly. It's just a little uh, little mayfly fly nymph is what it uh, replicates. So I hope you like it and stay safe out there and I'll see you next time.